Welcome back to the Collector's Channel where I give you my Lego investing opinion. This is for entertainment value only. It's not financial advice. And in my opinion, it is here. The Lego recession is in fact here. What's going on in the economy is not normal. Yes, we are currently at the end of the summer reseller slowdown. And every year from about June 1st to September 1st, Lego sales decrease typically in half. This year it was more than half, at least for me. But what I'm seeing now is not normal. Yes, sales during the pandemic were higher than normal, so we should have expected sales to slow. But what is going on in the economy right now is on another level. I don't care what anyone says, we are now seeing headwinds in the economy that will break casual resellers. If you are a casual reseller or someone that wants to grow your side hustle into a full-time job, you are about to get a taste of reality over the next 24 months. The first part of this video will most likely be a rant, while the second half of this video will give you a path forward where even as the LEGO world crumbles around you, you'll be able to not only survive, but grow your sales and be the last one standing. Now let's take a look at the headwinds that LEGO resellers are about to get hit with and or will soon be hit with. First and foremost, the economy. Unless you've been living under a rock, we've all seen inflation hit the fan, with food prices going up 30% or more in the last two years, along with housing and insurance costs skyrocketing. House prices have gone up about 160% in the last 15 years, while people's salaries have risen about 40% in that same time period. Take a look at car and truck prices from 2020 to 2023. In some cases, the same type of vehicle has gone up over $20,000, totally unsustainable. We are nearing the point where the consumer is going to have to tap out. People are putting more and more on their credit cards, and at some point, they'll go past the point of no return. When essential goods and services take up a larger portion of people's budgets, eventually the non-essential things like Lego get cut back or in some cases completely phased out. We are now at the doorstep of that happening. So now is the time where changes need to be made. Some of you will say, hey, I'm still selling Lego and doing okay. To that I say, same here, but when you're a reseller, it's not good enough to only live in the present. You need to accurately predict the future or you're in the wrong business. The next two years will be a tough two years for LEGO resellers. Most YouTube channels are not raising the alarm, but it's important to sound the alarm now instead of 12 to 24 months from now when we see the collapse. Comment down below if you think LEGO will remain untouched by the economic problems that the US and the rest of the world will face over the next two years. Because where I sit, when interest rates go from about 0% to 6% in a little over 12 months, it's going to create an economic hurricane and now is the time to prepare for the upcoming storm. The days of buying nearly any Lego set, waiting two to three years and seeing it double or triple are coming to an abrupt end. I'm going to share with you my plan on going face to face with this upcoming Lego recession. I'm planning on it lasting for at least two years. Now first let's talk about some tactics that can help weathering the economic storm. Number one, be aware of your personal financial situation. Now is the time to evaluate where you are at. Do you currently have credit card debt? Get a good grasp of what your daily, monthly, and yearly expenses are. Is your income consistent? Or could you see your hours cut back over the next 12 months? Or even worse, what if you got laid off from your job? Do you have three to six months of savings to keep you going? As the saying goes, it's a recession if your neighbor loses their job, but it's a depression if you lose your job. Put together a snapshot of your personal financial situation. 
Next, take what you've learned about your personal situation and find places where you can cut expenses and or grow your income. Now is the time to get ahead of this before we see the real pain in the economy. Even the Federal Reserve has said there's going to be some real pain coming. Remember, if you have government student loans and they were on pause, from what I heard, it sounds like you'll need to start paying them in October of this year. So don't go racking up more debt when you have additional expenses that are about to kick in. As Lego resellers, it's not only the economy we are going to be hit with, but there are other factors over the next 24 months. One thing to consider is all the new LEGO investors out there. Competition will be at its highest levels at the same time the general public will be cutting back their non-essential purchases. So that brings me to the next thing to consider. Be careful what you are buying over the next 24 months. I've seen a lot of social media posts of people walking into a Walmart and saying they just bought a bunch of Lego dot sets at 50% off. These are the people that are going to get crushed 12 to 24 months from now. The thrill in finding 50% off Lego sets is great, but now is the time to be more selective on what you choose. Sets like Lego dots, in my opinion, two to three years from now, will almost be worthless. You really need to figure out what kind of demand a set is going to have two to three years from now. $20 to $40 sets that don't have any exclusive figures and have similar sets continuously being released are going to be almost worthless for resellers 24 to 36 months from now. If you have a Bricklink store and you can part these sets out, that's one thing. But if you're planning on reselling them as new, complete sets, you need to be a heck of a lot more selective today and over the next two years than you were 12 months ago. The last thing I'm going to talk about is probably the most important, and that is common sense. Most of us are fans of Lego, so our view tends to be a little biased. As you take into consideration your financial situation and your future, remember that Lego is just like any other asset. Its value is based on the demand others place on it. Over the last three months, I haven't bought as many sets. I wanted to take a step back and evaluate what is going on in the overall economy, my personal situation, and make a prediction that I am comfortable with for the next two to three years. Going forward, what I've determined is this. Now is the time to get laser focused and at the same time diversify my purchases. Instead of taking a big swing and buying a ton of one particular set, I'm looking at purchasing multiples of about 10 to 15 different sets in 2024. But while I'm doing that, I want some secondary value. One of the ways I'm doing this is taking advantage of the lego.com gift with purchases and reselling them as soon as they arrive. Do not wait when you have a good gift with purchase. Go get that money now. Reduce your holding costs wherever you can. Minimizing your risk has never been more important than it is today. As we go through what could be a bumpy ride over the next 24 months, also keep your eye on other LEGO investors that have overextended themselves. We should start seeing that some LEGO investors want out and don't be afraid to offer them exactly what they originally paid for their inventory. If you have cash on hand and make it an easy transaction to buy most or all of their inventory, they may be ready to unload it. With LEGO investing and collecting, there are always deals to be made. Keep your eyes open and always have some cash on hand. Now my personal situation may be a little different than yours. I do have a paid off house, I do have a decent amount of savings, so I can be very patient at making big purchases from LEGO resellers. So keep moving forward and turn this downturn into your own personal opportunity. There's a decent amount of money made during boom times like we've seen over the last three years, but there can be a lot more money to be made during a recession. Take advantage of those who have failed to plan, and I know this sounds harsh, but turn their pain into your fortune. It's going to be tough out there, and only the best resellers are going to survive this one. I want everyone who is a LEGO reseller or wants to be a LEGO reseller that watches this channel to succeed over the next 24 months. I'm going to be taking a little different approach than most resellers, but I really feel that this is the only way you're going to make it through the next 24 months and come out on the other side even stronger than you were before. Well, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. There are many more videos on the way. 
Thanks for watching and keep building your Lego empire.